Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 310, NASDAQ's up 28, SP's up 17 and a half, gold up $35, trading at 17.15 an ounce. We get silver up 52 cents, 21 dollars, 44 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 272, 89 dollars, 7 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 21.6, trading 110.09. The 30 year up a point and a half at 120 flat in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 516 ticks, trading 109.604. The euro is at one. The yen is at 145.53. And the British pound is at 115 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get, we take a look at this spy here. Well, let's, let's go into the E-minis first because you can the volatility out here, you know, came in about a half hour ago, and it came in in spades. No two ways about that. Bottom line, you're going to see what happened here. Um, you can see at these highs, okay? You know, if you get your head into price and volume, folks, okay, the bottom line, you can only stay up here so long with no volume. You can see the first um, bar there had 36 thousand contracts and then I could go all the way over and right before you failed guess what you had 14,000 and then ba boom someone sold into it first sell was 38,000 the next one forget it next one was 62,000 yeah okay the 62,000 bar took you right back to uh 10 o'clock this morning you know you're talking about a, a monster in there selling that's how it works now that being said let me show you this though that being said, what you're going to see is that we stopped right where there's a buyer. So there's a buyer right here, right above it, actually. So the, the buyer would be, well, there's two of them. You got one right here, too. That's a little bit higher. Let me put that there. That's a little bit higher right there. That's from Friday. So Friday, you know, you can see right here, 37.90. There's big support there. And then there's also going to be support at the 37.85. It pulls down, bottom line, rejects the price. You know, now we'll see we're going to go the rest of the day. Now, let's go into the volumes and see what we have up here, okay? If we take a look at the SPY first, um, what you have with the SPY, you know, if this, the, the good news is you're, you have a larger volume than yesterday. Yesterday was anemic beyond belief. We had 68 million yesterday, or 59. That should do about 70, you know? So I suspect, you know, the bottom line is that we're going to continue to have high volatility, but... If we do see the volumes to expand, that's going to be a good thing out here today. Um, yeah, and the queues are already expanded. Okay, yesterday, the volume of the queues was 47 million. We've already done 48. Now, you're coming into 79, you know, but let's see, 48, 58. We'll do about 65, you know. So the bottom line is that I expect what we're going to see is that this range, we're probably going to have a range of a, and the S&P is probably about 40, 45 points. And the NDX, we're going to have a range of probably 150 to 200 points. Gold. gold. Gold's on its way, man. That's the bottom line. And, you know, if you're in the gold market, you know how fast they can go on the way down. And now, finally, we go how fast they can go on the way up. Because that's how gold equities and silver equities move. The contract itself has volume. If we take out, you get an ABC up. And, you know, the bottom line, well, let's see, maybe you don't. 294, yeah, you probably don't. We did 294 in the first sign of strength. That was the sign of strength that was established on Friday, today, or 259. It, there's good numbers. You're only, you're coming into two, 205, you know. So you broke in the downtrend. I think we broke the whole downtrend. Let's, let me look at this. Let's see. So if we do it this way, we might have. Yeah, we did. We did. This is saying, hey, gold's on its way up to 1898. Now, let me do this. Let me do a GC1. GC1. And what GC1 is on this Bloomberg, folks, is just a generic chart. 
So what happens is that you can look back further to see exactly how, oh, this could be get pretty interesting. Is that the same number? That's the same number. Okay, so now let me put this on a weekly. See what we're looking at. Oh, this could get interesting. It broke it, man. It broke it. This is saying gold's going back to its highs. It broke it. And it broke it with conviction. 2078. Yeah. Okay. I'm digging it, man. That's the bottom line. And, you know, if we take we, we, what, we, what we needed, we needed the streamers to also move. And they're moving in spades. You got real gold up 580. You get volume. That's, well, volume's not that great. Yeah, you get 340. I'd like to see about 440 out there. Uh, Franco Nevada. We take a look at Franco Nevada. That's up $8. That does have the volume in it. Yeah, this is, and three, <laughs> this, this is, it's so wild, man, when these things move. So in three days, Franco Nevada went from 116 to 133. We pull this back, put this, yep. They're all going to highs, man. Ride them. Ride them. I'm telling you, ride them, man. Um, you know, gold and gold equities, folks, can be, uh, you know, and they are a disaster when they're going down. There's no doubt about that. But guess what? When they're going up, man, there's nothing like it. <laughs> because, and one of the main reasons, folks, is that there's not a lot of equities. They're all very small equities. And, you know, you have Newmont and, you know, Barrick, no doubt that they're, they're a little bit bigger. But the market itself is so small that all it takes is a little push into it. And, of course, you know, bottom line, you get an expansion beyond belief. And, you know, today, as one of, someone of the Tigers was saying in the den, well, here, you know, where's gold versus Bitcoin? Bitcoin, folks, you know, the one of the biggest, the second biggest guy today, bottom line, he's out of the business, man. One day. Fried, out of the business. Bang, just like that. Now there's only one guy in the business. He's going down too, man. This whole thing is the biggest freaking Ponzi scheme that's been around for a long time. But bottom line, see ya. Don't want to be ya. Stay right there, folks. Come back with I'm Mr. Basil Chapman.